Hi, Vince. Hi. Uh, I have a question about the recording process. Okay. Like, uh, how much of uh, those instruments did you play, or did you? How much of a, a band did you put together for, for that? Uh, I had a drummer, a bass player, and a guitar player. Uh, the guitar player was Scott Shelley, who actually wrote the words to Dare, and a uh, great composer and a great guitar player. I had a percussionist named Michael Fisher. But when it came to the drums, um, because I had so little time, I couldn't, I couldn't chart out for a drummer all the parts. And I played drums just well enough that I sat down and I played most of the complicated stuff myself on drums. And I had another guy come in and do some of the, uh, what I call the groove-oriented stuff, where it was just straight ahead. But, um, and then keyboards were like, you know, 90% of it. Uh, had a room full of the best synthesizers in the world at that time. A friend of mine named Casey Young was the uh, uh, sound designer, synth programmer. He brought over a truckload of equipment, and it was like, literally, I was a kid in a candy store. I loved it. I loved it. And uh, in fact, for what it's worth, we just brought all that equipment that we used for Rocky IV and Transformers over to my partner Kenny's studio for the first time in decades, and we're firing it up for some new projects, and it's, it's, there's nothing like it. Any, any of these sounds in the computers, not to get too technical, but they have synthesizer sounds in computers, but when you have the real synthesizers, there's just so much difference. There's so much more presence, there's so much more energy. But anyway, yeah, the keyboards were m mainly featured in that. Great. Thanks. And, uh, You're welcome. I hope you get uh, Carl Palmer with the, uh, the Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Contact Netflix. Yeah.